Munyaradze Gwizai is a former opposition member of Zimbabwe's parliament and the man who convened a meeting last Saturday in Harare to discuss the uprisings in North Africa. Gwizai and 45 others were arrested, allegedly tortured. They now face a charge of treason that carries the death penalty. He obviously would like another government to rule the country. So that's not a secret. But I think, yeah, these are intellectuals, these are community workers, these are not people that are any threat. So this is a, it's, it's paranoia, it's simple paranoia. With Gwizai and his fellow alleged plotters behind bars, President Robert Mugabe celebrated his 87th birthday in traditional style. In this, his 31st year in power, not many Zimbabweans are celebrating. Some talk quietly of insurrection. But with past elections marred by violence and so many among the youth and educated middle classes having fled, it's unclear where change will come from. Perhaps from outside. The owner of a leading newspaper in neighboring South Africa is Zimbabwean Trevor Nkube. In a recent editorial, he called on Zimbabweans to become their own liberators. Welcome. There comes a time when that fear that plays at the back of your mind faces the reality of your oppression and you cross the line and you say, yes, these are the possibilities that might be visited upon me, but I as a human being deserve a better life. Here in South Africa, where Zimbabweans have come to find work or safety in their many hundreds of thousands, there's fairly open talk about what events up north could mean for Zimbabwe. But it's talk in small pockets, far from home, without cohesion or momentum. An email doing the rounds inside and outside Zimbabwe calls for a million citizen march in Harare on Tuesday. It's linked to a Facebook page which only has about 230 members. What could be a sign of online activism is instead greeted with scepticism. Some believe it's the work of the security services designed to lure activists onto the streets to be arrested. It's the sort of suspicion, laced with fear, that makes any substantial challenge to Mugabe's rule seem unlikely for now. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.